Do you think... Uh, uh, start over. No, why? Because I think your energy is really low. What? This is exciting. This is... <laughs> we're in the week of holiday. Cranberry sauce is very exciting. Yeah. All There's right, a whole cranberry sauce. Okay. Okay. Let's do All it right, again. Right. Let's do it again. Are you ready? Yep. Wait, what are you back there for? I'm going to come forward. Hey, like, like, as if, hey, what's okay. going on? All right. Are you ready? Sure. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Face Ads. I'm Joey. And I'm Tim. So, I, so, okay, so as we're doing this, I hear, that we have the fountain going on, right? So now it's a beautiful time in Arizona, right? It's almost Thanksgiving. It's like 72, 73 degrees. It's gorgeous. And I have that door open, and that, I kind of have this door open until it's so cold that I gotta turn the heat on, right? So I refuse to close it, like we're filming, normally I would close it by, I mean, is the water too much, do you think? No, Can you hear I the love water? it. The hummingbirds are active. It's yes. like a, a call for them, for their feeder, so... I'm hesitant okay. about the water being in the background, but we're just going to go with it today, yep. right? And if it turned out to be a horrible sounding video, then that's it for that, right? But I'd like to hear it. All right, so... Are you uh, a guest with us? Little Red's <laughs> back, right? He's awaiting the holiday season. Today he's got his little base, baseball outfit. He's kind of Mr. October, although it's November, right? And the World Series is over, right? Um, Little Red's, all his outfits, right, are courtesy of theredelfshop.com. Uh, over there, Juliana has an amazing setup and just the coolest outfits all year long. Yeah. These are hand done. Oh, we yeah. just appreciate this. I we, mean, we absolutely put in the effort. She to sends it. us these things, and we just kind of put them out there. If you're interested, uh, check it out. Um, the RedOffShop.com. Tell Juliana we said hi if you're over there. All right. So today's episode. Recently, I'm excited about this one. We've had a lot of Thanksgiving recipes, right? Yet we've never done cranberries. Never so. done cranberries. We love cranberries, and a lot of times it's an afterthought. And there have been quite a few like times with family where they've done it all, you have to throw one out now, like you couldn't wait? No, so I clean these, and you kind of have to filter out the, the, the young ones, the unripened, or the ones that got squishy. I just don't know so, if we can do it now. Anyway, it just, it just hit me, I'm like, what, but this one? There have been quite a few family dinners where they go through this big ordeal making all this stuff, and then they open up a can of cranberries, right? Yeah. And we're like, what are you doing, right? So I'm not sure I love cranberries by themselves, but right. it really goes complimentary with the stuffing we make with the potatoes. I just, I love that. And uh, today we're gonna make a recipe that's a uh, whole cranberry based with some orange and it's the lemon zest that's the key in this one. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to get so started, are you? Or yeah, let's jump into okay. it. Let's get to the food. Good. Okay, so what are we gonna do first here? Okay, so I've prepped a few things. So I've washed my oranges. We're gonna juice this to get a half a cup now, I can't find the hand juicer, so we just pull up the citrus juicer. Don't be intimidated by that. Uh, it's gonna be pretty fast getting a half a cup. Of course, we got the um, you know, 15, 16 ounces of cranberries. Yep. Um, I've got a quarter cup water. Um, we've got maple syrup on the side here. I, I think there's already enough sugars going on, and I just add this until you get the flavor that you want. So you can use a quarter cup, you can use a third cup, um, taste as you go for the maple syrup, but that's our sweetener that we're using. We could also, we were gonna, I mean at times we've replaced this with date, uh, where we soak uh, yeah, dates yeah. in water and just blend it all up and we get date water. This is just maple syrup and water, it's the same thing. We really like using the dates, um, but we just feel like you will have a better chance to make this at home if you have, if we put use syrup in this one, but in the recipe, with the, in the link below, We'll have the sub for the date, uh, the date paste yes. water, right? Perfect. Uh, so if you want to like leave, I know maple syrup, we use it all the time in whole food plant based, but really it's kind of a little process, right? Yes. Yeah. And this is a, a make ahead item, right? Yeah. You're going to chill this. So you can do this Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. So if you want to make the date paste, because you've, you've got cranberries, which have a lot of antioxidants, and the dates as a superfood as well. So, right. so many great options, so many great uh, um, nutrients and all that stuff and health benefits of all that. Exactly, but again, you can do that, make that homemade because you're doing it the day before or two days before. Right. Um, the flavors will even meld a little bit better then. So, all right, so we're right. gonna do the juice first, right? Yes, again, right. I, I said that I couldn't find the hand juicer, so we're using this electric you're juicer we have. You're not doing that electric juicer into that little measuring cup, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna pull it okay. up there. No, this ain't a circus. Let me get you something to put that in. Hang on a second, okay? Right. This is like the high dive, and the guy dives into a little cup of water in the cartoon. Yeah, 
Uh, I already see that's gonna go everywhere. Okay, this will just take a second. Ah, all right, a tip, tip. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa! There's a little cover that goes on there, so that doesn't splash everywhere. The plastic cover? No? Oh no, no, this is good. All right, this looks messy. Are you sure that's grape, uh, orange, and not grapefruit? Yep. Oh wow, these are like really like blood red oranges. Um, what did I get? I think they're Valencia oranges, okay. or not. And not navel oranges. Okay. You have a choice right now. It's there's a lot of citrus out there, so. Okay. So you can see here that we're just kind of pushing down on the oranges and the juice is coming out, and that's all. It's a painstaking process, but uh, we, this is the best thing. We need fresh oranges for this, right? Fresh oranges. So I don't want to, like, I don't want to buy like Tropic Hammer, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Because then we'll drink it and there's all the sugars. In yeah, it. we're not gonna drink it. It's just not gonna taste as good. Hey, we probably will drink it. If you don't have one of these Black Fridays coming up, right? There'll be a link below, of course, uh, on this one that we're using here. Yeah, it looks like we definitely have a half cup, right? I'm so proud to see you measuring. All right. <laughs> really, this recipe is so forgiving, so like yeah. you could freeze it. It's not like... baking, you could just throw yeah. it together. Yeah. We got Next. our orange juice set up, right? Yep. All right. It's time to get cooking. All right. We've got our water orange juice. I'm going to turn and this Then we're going to add our cranberries. All right, so what's first? Okay, cranberries. All right, cranberries, boom. That's about 16 ounces of cranberries, so about a pound. A half a cup of orange juice, fresh squeezed orange juice, right? Half cup. All right. And then I feel like it's worthwhile fresh squeezing, guys. Like, and how much water is that? This is a quarter cup of water. All right, I'm just gonna kind of give this a little mixy mixy. Mixy mixy. All right. All right, so we're just gonna bring this to a boil and then we'll just kind of simmer it for 10 minutes. So right now we're just waiting for that to happen here, right? I've kind of cleared a little path. You could have probably just put the cranberries in after it came to a boil, but we we're just gonna that. throw it all in. So yeah. we're not worried about the cranberries getting too saucy. Right? Yeah, these are gonna start breaking down. That's what we want, so it's not that delicate, you know? All right. Yeah. All right, since we're waiting for this to boil, I'm gonna zest some lemon. So we're just using like a little micro plana. I, I learned plana. I learned uh, when you're zesting, when I first started zesting stuff, you go across once and the middle, minute you see the, the kind of white stuff, you're done. Yeah. Don't go back and zest again because you don't want to zest that white stuff. Yes. Yeah, so I'm using a microplaner, but if you were using a tower or a grater, that's what you have to be careful of, right? Yeah. So Because then it tastes really horrible. It's just really bitter. And I didn't realize that and it was kind of a nightmare. All right, this is kind of heating up. Just let it do its thing here. I think like one of the best things we ever bought was this countertop like induction cooker. Even when we're not filming, this is how we cook if we're only cooking one pot, right? We just throw it up here and cook it right on the island. I love cooking on the island. Like I hate looking at the stove. We got all these beautiful appliances of G Cafe and I'm looking at the wall when I'm over there, right? I agree, facing the wall. Yeah. It's just like having a desk facing a wall, you know? Yeah. Like, and then here I can just cook and I'd be like, Oh, look what's going on in the hummingbirds or whatever, right? Yeah. Okay, so I've zested this lemon. I just wanted to show you. This is going back in the fridge for us to use. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is a good amount. So. Okay, so we're, we're at a simmer here. I think it's time to, what do we do? Put cover in this and let it simmer for yeah. 10 minutes? I'm going to add some of this. All right, maple syrup, go ahead. Now, the cranberries are popping, so you kind of want to get it, you know, simmering and cover it, yeah. right? Yeah, we're expecting that, so. They're gonna break open. That's yeah. what we want. So let's uh, cover now. All right. Let's cover this. And how long are we gonna let it simmer? What do you think? Ten minutes? Yes. All perfect. Right. See you in ten minutes. Okay. Okay. We're at the ten minute mark. So let's see where we're at. Oh, it's looking pretty good. It is oh, looking holy good. Smoke. You can see the cranberries have burst. It's reduced down a lot. It is. And when it cools, it's gonna thicken up even more. So at this point, I want to taste just to see how this batch of cranberries, um, if it's too tart or not, right. so. It's gonna be hot. Um, yeah, it's kind of tart. So we're gonna put in the remaining amount of this third cup that originally we started with right. of maple syrup. We all just had only put in a little bit of it, so we thought that we could uh, get away without putting too much of that syrup in, but we're absolutely gonna. Yeah. And then the lemon is kind of a little, uh, zest that gives it a little kind of punch also, right? Right before you serve it. All right, so we're at the point where this is up to you how mashed do you want these. The cranberries have burst. 
I think both of us like a little bit more. Yeah, we like it up. to be a little smashed a little more. So we're just gonna grab a potato masher. And I mean, I because we're so used to the can, right? Like if it's too chunky, then we're like, oh, that's not done. So it's still gonna be very chunky, but we do like to mash them up a little bit. Plus it kind of releases some of that flavor that's hidden in the cranberries, right? Yeah, we're definitely gonna have the outer shell of that cranberry in there, so it's chunky, it's nice. Okay. Uh, let's give it a taste now and see what you got. Yeah. Perfect. It's just right. Yeah, so you gotta kinda use So we did use the, the, the third, third of a cup, cup so yeah. be prepared for that, yeah. or the or the date paste. Um, yeah. Your sweetener of choice. So by now, after mashing a little bit, we're at 12 minutes. Yeah. It looks perfect. I love this. You love this as well. I think it looks amazing. Um, so we've got what we want. So we've removed it from heat. Now it's kind of the time where we can add like two thirds of the zest that you have. Because the other third we wanted to use as a garnish to sprinkle to make a pretty dish. This is right. going to look be awesome so for... we did a lot of zest. We're just going to... I need to save some for food photography so I don't use it all, right? And this is kind of this little punch at the end, right? A little lemon zest. Yep. Again, we have stopped cooking. Right. And we're adding this at the end. Okay. I'm going to get a fresh spoon to taste it because people comment if we use the same spoon, right? We've done worse than that. All right, so let me see what we've got here, right? I'm gonna get a little bit of the, oh, this is nice and syrupy. This looks like like jam, right? Like out of a jar. Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah, so when you pair this with yeah. potatoes, dressing, like it's got to Oh yeah, it's gonna be a nice accent, right? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you wanna try it? <laughs> no, someone will complain. I, I haven't, we haven't made this since last Christmas, so. Um, I'm glad this turned out again. All right, so let's just ladle this up. We're gonna put some of it like right in a nice little Lake Crusade serving dish here. So we'll get it ready to go and you can kind of see what it's gonna look like at the end here. Look at wow, the deep red with the white plate, like that's a statement, don't you think? Yes, and that tartness is just complemented with uh, the lemon zest. All right, so let's top it with a little extra zest, right? Because we're gonna have to do food photography for the thumbnail. So let's kind of get some of that on there. It's really hard to get lemon zest to go where you want it to, right? But, all right, I think that looks good, right? Looks really good. As you can see here, it's an absolutely beautiful dish. Top with this uh, lemon uh, little spritz on the top. You can even see the little cranberries inside, like if they're struggling to come to the surface, right? It's an amazing example of some quick homemade cranberry sauce. Yes. Now this is gonna be ready for Thanksgiving. We're gonna store it in the fridge. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for Thanksgiving break. I only got two days of work this week, right? Monday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's our video for today. An amazing cranberry topping, uh, cranberry sauce. Um, please hit that like button, show us some love. What's not to like? If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified every time we have a video, usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. Are you making cranberry sauce this year? Are you just using the can? I just hit some, I just hit this thing as maple syrup on it. The can's fine. Like there's nothing wrong with the can, right? But I feel like if you're going through all of that trouble, you should have a lit, you have to step up your cranberry sauce game, right? Yes. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank bye. you.